Hi, I'm Jordan Greenlee, and we're here at the Short Park Arena, where the Short Park Crusaders have one of the youngest teams they've had in Coach Tim Fregel's four years of coaching here with the crew. The team has been bonding, though, with the new players getting along with the veterans, as they want to make this year a successful one, regardless of the rebuild. A lot more teaching. You know, you got to spend a lot more time with the younger guys, making sure they understand the systems and the individual tactics that we like to see. So, and then uh, a lot of a lot of work in the video room too. You know, so. But it's good, you know, it gives you a real good uh, outlook and the kids are on a, on a pretty good page right now. Well, it seems like the guys are really starting to buy in the, on the systems a little bit more this year. You know, the younger guys, they got a lot to prove, you know, coming in the team as a first year, so I think that's helped. The youth movement has even extended to between the pipes where the crew have two rookie goaltenders. But in the case of Tommy Nixon, he's only a rookie when it comes to this league as he's actually a very experienced midget AAA vet. Well, that's the one good thing about Tommy Nixon. He, uh, you know, he is real mature. You know, he played three years a midget, so he was one of the better midget AAA goalies here in Sherwood Park last year. So, you know, I feel he's a little bit more mature than a 16 or 17 year old goaltender. So I think that helps. And I think that's really important for goaltenders at any level. You know, he's got a real good calming presence about him. I'm really comfortable right now. And three years of midget hockey really taught me to work in the fundamentals. And being a third year midget against first and second years, you really got to get comfortable with the game and really work. Uh, how comfortable you are in the net, so made it a lot easier the transition. And hockey is just hockey, regardless of how fast they are, right? So the transition is a bit easier because it's a bit more mature coming into this season. Nixon has been helped by the veteran experience of defenseman Dane Phaneuf, brother of NHLer Dion Phaneuf, who has locked down his netminder's crease. Dane has been great. The guy's in front of the net. He doesn't let anything happen on me, so it's definitely a lot easier to stay confident and play on top of your crease when you know you're not going to get ran or anything because you got Dane or sitting right there. Uh, so Dane, Dane's definitely been a huge influence. He's got that uh, major junior experience, which definitely helps out at this junior A level a little bit faster. A little stronger and Daner's he's a uh, very very helpful rebound in front of the net it's gone right no no, no garbage goals when Daner's on the ice. Despite the big mix of youth and vets on this team the years of experience have been checked at the doors the Crusaders have made a commitment to gelling together as one unit. Uh, it's, it's been good so far the vets they've taken a lot of the younger guys under their wing right we're just one big family it's not like there's a bunch of vets and rookies we're just the crew. Right, and it's, uh, we're all uh, 23, 24 best friends and that's the way it's been going so far and it's been a little, really easy to transition from a group of guys you played with for two, three years to a group of guys you, you barely know and when everyone's so uh, taking each other under the wing and helping each other out, it's definitely a lot easier. The Crusaders are back on the ice this weekend at the AJHL Showcase in Spruce Grove as they'll be taking on the Calgary Canucks Thursday at 4.30 p.m. and the Drumheller Dragons Saturday night at 7 p.m. at the Tri-Leisure Centre. Jordan Greenlee, Go Edmonton.